Welcome everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm super excited about this video because it is the first video in a five video series. So it is a five days of summer series that I'm planning on doing and today's the first video. So basically there are five summer related videos that I'm going to be putting out to celebrate the new season that we're in. Summer is my favorite season. I could literally live in summer like 24 seven and be a-okay with it. Never see winter the rest of my life. That would be sick. I would be that'd be great. So today's video is going to be a summer essentials What's in my beach bag summer favorites type video basically gonna be sharing with you guys all the products that I take with me to the beach when I go and all of the Essentials that I use for the summer to make my summer a little bit better <coughs> By the way, if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications So that you can get updated on all the videos coming out this week Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. It's just at Angelina Nicole with three L's and Just in case any of you were wondering the top that I'm wearing today this little uh, leopard print tie top is from Sun Under and she was so kind to send me a couple items from her store. So she basically has a thrift vintage store. Everything is thrifted and she sells it online. And it's actually, her shop is one of the shops that inspired me to start my business, which I haven't launched yet, but it's basically, I'm planning on having a business similar to that where it's like reselling vintage things. This top is from Sun Under and I'll link her Instagram and her website down below. This video is not sponsored by the way. <laughs> These necklaces are from Get Back. So they are little St. Christopher necklaces and they also sent me these as well, which I think they're so cute and very perfect for the summer, very on brand for this video. Like I said, this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to share that with you in case you guys were wondering. And also thank you to those companies for sending me those products because I love them. So let us get into the summer essentials video. What do we need for the summer? What is necessary? First up are two items that don't fit in my beach bag, but that I bring to the beach and are very necessary for summer and the beach in general. So the first one is a beach towel. So I shared this in one of my recent videos, but it is a giant round retro print beach towel from the beach people. I can't even show you the whole thing, but it's huge. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I've never owned a round beach towel before, but I am very excited. I love it. I love the little fringes that it has and it's basically just overall super cute. And I love having a massive one so that you can share. Um, I mean, you can always just bring like a big blanket or something with you, which is usually what I would do. So you can fit more than one person. I mean, if you're not going to the beach alone, if you have friends, unlike me, maybe I just like to pretend that I have friends. And so I just bring a giant beach towel and hope that someone joins me. This is not a self-deprecation video. Stop it. You can't go to the beach without a beach towel, obviously. The next one is a insulated water bottle. And this is a Hydro Flask. If any of you know me at all. I'm obsessed with Hydroflask. I would love if Hydroflask would one day sponsor me. My dream sponsorship, Hydroflask, if you're there listening, if you can hear me. Um, anyways, I've had this water bottle forever. The 40 ounce water bottle um, with the straw lid. It's very beat up because it's ancient. I've dropped it so many times. Is there anything louder in the world than the sound of a full Hydroflask landing on cement? Because I don't think there is. So the reason why I say an insulated water bottle is because when it's insulated, it will stay cool for a long period of time. It will also stay warm for a long period of time, but I'm assuming if you're going to the beach and it's summertime, you would rather have a cold beverage. So if you put ice in this Hydro Flask or fill it with cold water, it will stay cold for like up to two days, which is obviously handy dandy because you want to have something refreshing and cool when you are roasting your bod in the sun. Okay, let's get into the actual beach bag. So first you're going to need a beach bag and this one I actually thrifted. I am obsessed with it, but I mean, whatever any beach bag will do. This is my beach bag and I'm going to share with you guys everything that's inside of it. First of all, you're going to need some tunes for the summer, which by the way, I will be uploading a summer 2019 playlist for you guys this week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But another essential is a Bluetooth speaker. So I literally bought this like two days ago. <laughs> I got the JBL, I don't know what it's called, the JBL something, oh, Flip 4. <laughs> the JBL Flip 4 Bluetooth speaker in white. It's amazing, it's great because it's small, it's also waterproof. I took it with me in the shower the other day, not in the shower, but like in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I wouldn't recommend like going underwater with it, but it is waterproof to an extent. The sound quality is amazing and it's really, for the quality of it, I wouldn't say it's too expensive. It's also something that you're probably gonna use a lot. Like you go camping, you go to the beach. 
Um, I use this in my car because the stereo in my car is broken. So I just use my Bluetooth speaker <laughs> instead of the sound system in my car. Okay, the next thing is a product that I did not know existed, but I'm so thrilled that it does until very recently. And it is this wet swim pouch. So I got this from Causebox. Again, video is not sponsored, but they do send me seasonal boxes. So I just got their summer box and this was included in it. And the brand is Quagga. Yeah, Quagga Green Label. Oh my gosh. So it is a sustainable pouch made from recycled material. And what it is, is basically it's a waterproof pouch. So the inside is waterproof. So it's for putting in your wet bathing suit when it's wet and you don't want to get other stuff wet and you have somewhere to put it now and seal it up. I already know that I'm going to be using this so much because that is like the one thing that I never had a solution to unless you bring like a plastic bag, but obviously plastic bags are bad for the environment. Next is another product from Cosbox. I figured I might as well just, you know, continue on with that. Um, and it is a vegan all natural sunscreen by All Good. I have been looking for a vegan sunscreen for ages, one that is good for the environment and actually works and is decent and doesn't make you all oily and gross. So this one has an SPF of 30. It's a zinc formula, so it's non-greasy. It's cruelty-free, it's vegan, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm so bad at using sunscreen, honestly, but now that I actually have a vegan sunscreen, I'm really excited and I hope that it will encourage me to actually use it. Next thing is you can't lounge by the pool or go to the beach without a good book to read. So I just threw in this book, You Are a Badass at Making Money, but there are tons of books. I mean, whatever book you're currently reading or if you're not reading a book, pick a book, pick a novel, pick whatever. <laughs> Throw a book in there. I feel like that's definitely a summer slash beach essential. I love going to the beach, just laying out and reading a book. Okay, a couple other summer essentials, beach essentials. Some sunnies. I got these for $3 at Goodwill and they, oh, they're so dirty, um, but I love them. They don't really help much with protecting my eyes from the sun. In fact, since they're yellow, they kind of just make everything even more bright, but they're cute and that's what matters, right? I also have a little bucket hat. I mean, you can wear whatever hat you want, but this one's just like super lightweight. I got it for like $9 at Urban Outfitters. And um, I mean, you can find them on Depop. They're everywhere on Depop. You can thrift one, just any hat, honestly, to just give you some shade, a baseball hat, a visor, it doesn't matter. This one was just really cheap and it's cute and trendy. I think it's super fun to have a nice little camera to take pics with at the beach. I have this Polaroid camera, although it's pretty chunky and you wouldn't want to get like sand in it. And also you don't want the film to get ruined at the beach. So probably not the most like sensible item, <laughs> but I just feel like it's good to have something to make memories with when you're at the beach in the summer in general. So I got this little Polaroid. This is like an actual vintage old one but you can get them from Urban Outfitters or Target or whatever, or a disposable camera, which is probably more wasteful, but you can get like a disposable camera or a waterproof camera or whatever you have, a GoPro, your cell phone, it doesn't matter, just something to make some mems with and capture the moment. Okay, the next two products are some beauty products. So the first one I have is this tanning oil, which is literally, I just made this. This is like a recycled uh, container that I had, and I just put in vitamin E oil and baby oil, but you could use coconut oil, you can buy your own tanning oil, you could literally use any oil that you want. Keep in mind, tanning oil has like a really, 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 really minuscule SPF. In fact, it'll probably make you more likely to get burned, but it's nice to have and be like moisturized when you're at the beach. I, for one, am always like drenched in oil when I'm at the beach. I love tanning and I love using tanning oil. Like I said, I'm really bad at using sunscreen, but <laughs> I want to encourage you to also use sunscreen. This is obviously not going to protect you. And if you are tanning out in the sun and using tanning, tanning oil, you want to be careful and make sure that you're not laying out for too long or that you are getting some shade and some sunscreen every now and then. The last item is this Make Waves Sea Salt Hair Tonic. It is from, I bought it, bought it from Free People, but it's a Free People collaboration with Baja Zen. So I'm pretty sure the brand is Baja Zen. Um, and I was looking for a sea salt spray for a long time because I love the way that my hair looks when I get out of the ocean. Normally when I go to the beach, I don't even rinse off after for like the rest of the day because I love the way that my hair dries from the salt water. The only problem is that can damage your hair and also it's not like every single day at the summer you're going in the ocean, you're probably doing other things. So if you still want that beachy look, you can use this and I've been using it. First of all, I'm obsessed with the smell. Like... I don't know why, I just, <laughs> I'm like obsessed with it. 
And I love that you don't really need a lot for this. You literally spray it like three times in your hair and you are good to go. Definitely don't need too much. It also has argan oil in it, so it actually moisturizes your hair because sea salt can dry your hair out and make it more damaged. So it has sea salt in it, but it also has argan oil in it to hydrate your hair as well. So yeah, honestly, when I'm out of this, I'm probably gonna buy another thing because I, I'm obsessed. I, I don't wanna try any other sea salt spray because this stuff's amazing. Okay, so my bag is empty. Those are all of my beach slash summer essentials. That is everything that's in my beach bag. Obviously, you can bring other stuff like I don't know, chapstick, an umbrella, <laughs> a beach chair. Bring whatever else you wanna bring to the beach, obviously. These are all my essentials, things that make my life a little bit easier in the summer, things that I always take to the beach with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified because I have tons of summer-related videos coming out this week for you guys and a lot of other videos planned in the future for you guys. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye.